Hey y'all, and welcome to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the shrink and fatten and push pull tools. Now, the shrink and fatten and push pull tools would, at first glance, appear to be the exact same thing, but they don't actually work in the same way at all. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this on our um, handle for our cup. Now, what we can do is if we, we've got these selected and you can see the normal marking, so they're pointed out in a particular direction, if we have the shrink and fatten tool selected, or if we press Alt S, and it will fatten or shrink depending on uh, the selected vertices along their normal, depending on which way we drag our mouse. Now the difference here is the push and pull tool will actually move these objects uh, towards or away from the pivot point. Now the pivot point here can be set by going up to the top and you can see there's a bounding box center, the 3D cursor, individual origins, the most active element, or by default, the median point. And we'll talk about pivot points in a future video, but for just uh, the example's sake, if we have it at the median point, that means our point of origin, if we select the transform tool, is now in the center of all of these selected objects. So if we go back to the push-pull tool now, knowing that the median point is in the exact center of all of that, we can then click and drag and see that it pushes those rings away from the median point. Uh, it's not scaling them at all, it's just moving them away from it, or we can push it back towards the median point and it will get smaller and more compact. So that's the difference. The shrink and fatten tool will move vertices along their normals, whereas the push and pull tool will move them uh, towards or away from the pivot point, depending on the direction that you drag your, your mouse. All right, so that should cover basically everything you need to know about mesh modeling to create some pretty awesome models uh, just with these tools. In the future, we will be doing uh, videos on UV editing, texture painting, sculpting, and probably shading as well so that you can create models quickly and efficiently and get your creative on. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I will see you either in the next video or on the Twitch channel. Peace.